Hey guys, what's up? Um, today I was going to go through and do a couple of quick little starting tips for new players. If you guys are new to Dauntless, um, this game's pretty fun so far. I'm enjoying it a lot more than I expected to. Um, it's a lot like Monster Hunter, yes, but it's a lot simpler and more easy to get into, more easy to approach. So when you start Dauntless, um, you'll you'll start in, after the tutorial and stuff, you'll start in this town. And this is going to be like your main hub. You know, uh, this is where you get your quests and make your armor and all that stuff. Alright, so you if you look around, you'll see up, up top, you'll see your little compass. And you'll see different icons on it. So if you get lost or something, check your, your compass up there. And it's really easy to, you know, the town's not that big. Um, guys like this are vendors slash quest givers. Like this guy's What's got a word, quest Cap? for me. Ready for a challenge, Click on it, you know, you can accept. This one's already accepted, so that's why I can't accept it again. And then, like, if you want to craft stuff, this he this is like the potions guy. I actually need to some stuff. So, um... Like crafting, example, it tells there. you what you need, the stuff. and then Use this just craft. It's simple. Give health. Give okay, health. now over here you have your. Uh, this guy is a special vendor. This is for your war pass, which is hunt pass. I'm sorry, your hunt pass. Um, so you do quests and stuff, cut off monster parts, you get uh, points to increase your hunt pass, and then as you increase, you get different things. The bottom one is if you bought the premium. Uh, pass uh, so if you do it you'll get both but the premium pass is premium so you have to pay for it um, right now I think there was a thing where you could get a thousand platinum for five bucks that's why I did it and that's what it costs a thousand platinum which is normally ten dollars okay so when you complete one of the things it'll show up on the map it'll be gold letting you know that you know, you're ready to turn it in, and then you turn it in. Things with a gold um, icon, like this uh, weaponsmith over here, means I, he's ready to give me a reward. Because I did the quest. So, uh, so I click on the one that's ready. He'll tell me some stuff, and then boom, give me the reward. Sometimes he'll give you a new quest, sometimes he won't. Back to my work. And this guy, speaking, this is where you would come and forge new weapons. Like, you start off with the training sword, and then when you go on hunts, you can look and see the different weapons you can make, etc. Now, if you highlight the, if you notice, there's blue, they, they show up kind of blue, that means you can make it. And the ones that are shaded out means you can't make uh, or upgrade at that time. So, the blue ones are good to go, the other, the non-shaded are not good to go. Um, now there are quite a few weapons in this game, uh, some people might tell you to pick one and stick with it and learn it and all that, which, you know, that is a great idea, but also you might want to make the basic one of each weapon, in my, you know, just a thought, that way you can test them all to see which ones you like and which ones you don't. I did that, I mean, there are some weapons that I just, I'm not good at. And if I had picked that one, you know, and kept that going from the beginning, I wouldn't have had as much fun with this game as I have. Um, so, yeah, you can do either one. Now, the thing about picking a weapon and sticking with it is you get weapon XP and stuff like that and unlock um, challenges and quests with that. And the higher you get, you know, your mastery, they call it, with that weapon, you get more rewards and things so there is something to be said about picking a weapon and sticking with it um but again if you pick the weapon and you don't like it there's nothing wrong with making a different one to test out find that one you like most and just go with it so um that's the basics of in town you um go and get your quest that's very important um you craft your items things like that these are for cores. You can get cores, um, and they give you cells, and you can rank things up. 
Well, not rank things up, but add like different effects to, say, your weapon or armor, stuff like that. And, you know, uh, C, Slayer Core, Utility Core, these are for different, like, no nodules or openings in your weapons and armor. That's where they can be put. I'm going to open up this Epic Core, just because I'm curious what's in it. Um, now, you get cores by doing various missions and stuff like that. And, you know, um, as rewards. So we're going to open this one up. Just This is an offensive core. So that's what we get. Alright. Open it all. Alright, I got an overpowering. So. And then we get strikes. See, and you see, like, each. Uh, the fist goes into a certain uh, port as well as this goes into a different port. I'll show you that in the, right now. So, if we go to our loadout, we'll see the same symbols on the different armors. So, if I wanted to change it, I would go down here and it would tell me all my options that can go into there. Now, if you put a, a cell into a weapon and you don't like it or you get a better one later, it's free. You just click them around. It's not like something permanent. So, if you like an effect, go with it. If you don't, it, you know, don't worry about, oh my god, will I lose my cell, and, you know, that sort of thing. So, just, you know, have fun with it. Experiment. Try different things. Um, and then, like, there are different... Each armor, you can see, like, this armor has this look, but each one can be um, skinned. They have different skins and stuff, like... Cosmetics. This is from the the premium uh, battle pass thing. So I just wanted to put those on. Oops, I forgot to hit apply. And you know you can mix and match and kind of get your own style, your own flavor and look. Now when you're ready to go on a hunt, you come up to one of these boards. They, there's a couple of them in town. You hold A and then you pick a hunt, a patrol or a pursuit. It'll tell you the difference is like you get different rewards and stuff like that. Um, and it has different levels of difficulty. So we're going to pick just a pretty basic one right now. I'm going to pick uh, the bottom one just to do a quick one. Oh, I meant to do a private hunt. You can do private or public hunts. And then you'll start the queue up top. It'll say finding hunt. Now, if it was private, it, I would have already found one already because, you know, I'm by myself. But when it's not, it'll put you in a queue. And then while you're waiting, you can do your loadout, which I'm going to do now. And um, it'll pop up match found when you're ready to go. All right, so I'm going to put on some... Some of that. See... Now I found a match. And then I'll take one of the airstrikes. Now you always have that top potion. That one can't be changed. And when you first start, um, only one of these will be unlocked. And you unlock more as you level up. And then over here you can see um, I'm going to be fighting a fire monster. So I have my fire resistance armor on with a ice sword. So there are um, parts of this that deal with those types of elements and stuff. You can learn it as you go along. Um, so far, I think there's six so far. Um, fire, Ice, Shock, and Terra, which is Earth. And then they have um, Radiance is Light and one for Dark. So, you know, they have the whole op opposition elements thing going. Um, so that's that's pretty easy. As you see this screen, it'll tell you this is the, for the hunt. Uh, it gives you you can change your loadout uh, if you decide if you had something wrong equipped. It tells you you know your your frost weapons are going to do more damage and your blaze armor is going to give you more protection since we're fighting something fiery. Um, pretty straightforward. You can change your loadout for your consumables here as well. Um, so that's all good. And pretty much you just wait for the timer to go. Um, we're all queued up, so I don't know. Normally it does like a 3, 2, 1, but I don't know why it's not doing that this time. Um, but 
even without that, it uh, only takes a little bit of time. Now, when you get into a hunt, um, you're going to see different stuff on the map. Like, there's blue wispy things. They make you move faster. Um, then you're going to see, like, different plants or, uh, you know, rocks and stuff that you can hit the A button on and harvest those materials. They help you make your potions and they help you make your, um, your consumables. Uh, they might even do armor later on. I don't know. See, I picked those up and they make me move faster. I'm going to go over here some of these plants because these are ones that you're using motion not motion screens a lot now normally you see they engage the beast already so you know I don't want to wait too long but normally you, you throw up a flare to let everyone know you Now, you see, different, the, different, each monster has different uh, weaknesses and resistances, and different parts of the body that can be damaged and even broken off. Like, um, you see the different colored numbers? They all mean different things. The yellow is the part damage. That's how much um, damage you're doing for that particular part. And, and then, um, I'll break off. Like just now, we cut his tail off. Uh, and I think we got one of his horns too. Now that's called, you know, that's your weapon damage. Uh, your breaking damage for your parts. The white that I'm hitting him, that's just damage to the monster itself. Like his maximum HP. Kind of numbers. Uh, and you see that, um, it went from yellow to white because I really broke off the piece that was able to be hurt on that side, so it just went to white because there's something left to break on that. Now these um, are crystals that you pick up after you break off pieces sometimes, and they help that pass that I was telling you about. That's how you can get the rest one way. Um, you see the four on the D-pad over in the corner, that's your consumables. Like if I were to push off right now, I'd use my potion. And there you go. That's that's your like basic fight. Um, I'll let you pick up. I'll show you the, the screen after this. It's where you pick up. Uh, it tells you what materials you got. And those are the materials that you use to make your different things. Like I picked up some of the flowers. I didn't die, so I got extra hide. I have the hunter pass elite, so I got extra items there. And then the broken parts, it tells you down there at the bottom. And then over here is like I was telling you, you have your weapon mastery. And then you have a st even that monster. Like if you kill that monster quite a bit of times, you get different levels and gain different rewards as you level that up. So, you know, all this just gives you a breakdown. If you have quests that you, you know, progress, progress towards or whatever. And that's that. And rinse and repeat. Like, uh, you hit leave hunt and you go back to your town. And there you go. That was an, uh, a, a battle against a monster. That was some basic, you know, how-tos. Uh, hope you enjoyed it. Um, I'll be playing this more often. Um, if you guys, you know, see me, want to team up or something, that's cool. Just add my gamer tag. You know, we could team up sometime and have... Uh, kill some monsters uh if you guys have any questions just let me know uh you can ask again send it to my gamer tag on xbox leave it in the comments whatever i will do my best to get back with you with answers and um that's that for today um next time uh, i'll come back we'll do a couple more hunts maybe find out some more in-depth things or answer any questions that you may have had until then have a great day and i'll see you next time